All right, good morning, guys. We're out here in Stewart today in shore fishing the mullet run. Just hooked the first fish. Unfortunately, the camera wasn't rolling, but that's okay. We'll get some more fish in the boat here. Just caught on the top water, Yuzuri, uh, um, I forget the name of this lure. But anyways, <laughs> Yuzuri top water lure just crushed this little snook. I'm gonna get popped out real quick and send him home. We tried to get offshore this morning, but it was a little too rough. So we're gonna stay in shore today, which is no big deal. All right, way to break off the skunk. Second cast of the day with the top water, and he just crushed it right on the shoreline. Saw a bunch of mullet getting blown up. It's the time of year for it, guys. Mullet run. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of bigger fish today, and we'll see what else we'll catch. See, I think this guy's ready to go home. Go, buddy, go. He's gone. Beautiful release. That was so cool. All right, let's get another. Nice job on that snook to our sizzle. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm Brian, also known as Puddin. That's Star Sizzle. We're the fishing couple. We quit our jobs about two or three years ago to follow our dreams, and our motto is fish, dream, inspire. We fish, follow our dreams, hopefully inspire some of you guys to do the same. And like Darcy said, we're here in Stewart chasing the fall mullet run down the southeast side of, uh, of Florida, which is a bait migration of mullet bait fish, and then a lot of predator fish, and so it's really just a great time for fishermen and uh, exploring some new areas here in this nice little uh, channel. It's pretty cool. Darcy's throwing a top water, as she said. Got a couple blow ups. A little windy out today. All right, so just pitching that little bait right under the dock here. And the, the current is coming in like this. So I'm just trying to keep him on the outside edge of the dock and let him go with the current. And hopefully that's where the, sn the snook and snappers and stuff are stacked up on the edge there. I just had this bait get blown up on, but I didn't hook up. He might have ate it. I can't tell. I think he got eight. Let's see. Oh yeah. Ooh, hooked up. We got a Snooky. Hey, nice. All right, so dealing with this really tough water clarity here and just even struggling to get bait today. So I've got like about a dozen baits in the well using the last of what we got. And I just hooked up on a nice fish. Nice, beauty right there. Check him out. Hey. He's a little bigger than the one that I caught this morning. Well, it's still morning, but uh, you can see right here, circle hook perfectly in the corner of the mouth. And I'm just using the circle hook to match the size of the bait because I have little baits today. Beautiful snook, he is all lit up, gorgeous. Just caught him right under that dock here um, with the incoming tide, so pretty cool. He is ready, whoa, there he goes. All right, cool, let's get another one. Nice job, I just wanted to mention, if we came over here and there's a guy over here and the guy in front of us and Darcy just threw that lunker right in their faces. It wasn't a lunker. <laughs> it's, it's off season for the big snook. They're the cooking it. They're cooking <laughs> Lunkers in their faces. Cool. That was cool. Snook loved me today. Just the little babies do, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. I would love to catch a slot, a keeper snook one day, because it is snook season officially, but I had started feeling something on my rod, and then the snook just like went airborne, and I didn't even get tight on him yet, so that was pretty cool to see. Fish number three, coming in the boat. Woo! Nice. So that's the cool thing about the circle hooks. It's perfect for conservation, pops right out, and the fish lives, to swim, to lives another day, and he's completely unharmed. Beautiful lit up snook there. He is really clean. So we gotta match the hatch and apparently these snook are loving the baits that I'm using, which is the like little two inch mullet. There he goes. He gone. All right, we're just crushing the juvenile snook today. They hungry. This guy is going airborne all over the place, but I was hoping for a little bit bigger. But like I said, I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna complain about it. Smoke number four in the boat. I'm pretty sure these are all males. Well, actually they are when they're small like this. And then when they become mature and they could become around slot size, some of them change sex to females, but they're all born males. So this guy is a male. Jeez, so angry, he gone. 
Okay, I think I have like one or two more live baits left. Let's see what else I can catch and then I gotta get more bait. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, we hit the mother loan finally. <laughs> After like six or seven throws of catching a few here or there, we just loaded the well. One and done, we got huge predators around. I think Brian's bait's gonna get blown up. Oh my gosh, we got a great assortment. Big ones, small ones, we got it all. Finally, it only took eight hours. Nice job, Sizzle. Yes! It, took a, it only took eight hours, but we got it done. <laughs> now we got chum bait, we got everything. Nice. Power pulls down. Whoop, whoop. Have a lot of trials and tribulations today. Can't catch bait. Water quality's terrible. Well, it took eight hours to catch bait, but we did catch bait. Darts are good for milk. Then, They're all babies. And then as soon as we caught the bait, our live well started to act up. And then we wrapped the line in the prop of the trolling motor. That so was lots no big... of stuff are going on. <laughs> that, was, blast. that was really no big deal. But now, guys, <laughs> we're at a new area I've been wanting to go to for a very long time. The power plant. The Point St. Lucie power plant. Hutchinson Island. Hutchinson Island. We're at Herman's Bay or Summons Bay. And they say there's been a good trout bite here before the weekend. And before that storm came, so I don't know. Yes. But a lot of flounder up here, which we don't really have. <clears throat> and trout. Black drum. Black drum, which we don't have in our area. So uh, we're gonna do what we know to be trout fishing is put out a bunch of lines, like four or five lines around the boat. And hopefully you're in a good area and you catch a trout or a redfish or some other fish. Yeah. And another cool, important thing we- Can you hear me? Can you hear me talking to my fans? I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Another cool, important thing that we did was we went on the Fish Angler app and we looked to see what people were catching in this area where they posted it. Right. So we had an idea of where to go. That's true, right. So right now I'm in an area which is on like a ledge and I saw another boat here. But on the north side, north side of the power plant, there's a lot more fish angler spots. So we're gonna try that area next. So we're gonna do a couple different things around here. We're gonna send out a bunch of lines and hooks and just rigs. We're gonna have it spread out all around the boat. For this particular one, it's a piece of mullet, dead bait, of course, and it's gonna lay on the bottom. I've got a little split shot on here. I'll probably add more weight to it. But I'll cast it out, let it sit on the bottom, and this smell will hopefully attract the trout and whatever else is around. Nice and steady. Nice, this is just a cut bait we had on the bottom. Dorothy also had a tarpon off for like two seconds. Oh, what right is here. it? I don't know. Oh, it's a redfish. Is it? Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful red. It's a beautiful red. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Brian, it's beautiful. You better get him in the net. Isn't that good? I guess. Come on. Get him up first. It might be a slot. Come up. Oh, it's beautiful. He's all orange. Pumpkin spice. Um, follow your fish, follow your fish. Follow your fish, Brian. Come on. What about me? Just take what your about time. You want to do a shot of that take your time. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. He doesn't want to come up yet. Nice. You just caught a slot. <laughs> I never caught a redfish in my life. What did you say before? You'd freak out if you caught a trout? If I caught a trout. What are you going to do now? I'm going to, I don't even know. Oh my gosh. It's fine. We're trying to hold it. Oh my How do gosh. I do it? Ryan. <gasps> beauty. Look at this tail, guys. Gorgeous. How big is that going to be for slot? In the corner. Um, How big? We can double check, but he's got to be up to 28. See, it's 25. A slot. <gasps> we got a slot fish. I can't boat. believe I'm living my dreams. <laughs> Let me get this one out. What? Are you sure? Yes. Is it really season? Is it really a slot? I'm going to double check for you, but I'm pretty freaking confident. I don't believe it. I'm confident. 18 to 28 inches. Oh my God. So proud of you. Look at my fish, guys. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, yeah, one's getting blown up. Flatline's getting blown up. Gotta go, gotta, 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 gotta go. go. Okay. Get that mullet in the well. Hooked up. Not sure what we got. What is it? A it's a white. jack. Let's get you up here, buddy. We gotta take care of a redfish. All right, guys, we're gonna make a delicious catch and cook and put them in the 65 quart grizzly. What 
What's up guys? We made it back to the house. It's the next day. It was so late when we got back. We had a 12 hour work day. It was insane, but it was totally worth it for that beautiful red brine caught in the 40 quart grizzly cooler. He's iced down, ready to go. I think I filleted a red fish, but it was a very, very long time ago and it was maybe even before we started making videos, but there is his fish. Beautiful slot red fish. So proud of them. Now I just gotta go back and catch myself one. <laughs> I'm a little jealous, but I get to eat it for dinner tonight and share the catch and cook with you guys. Using the Smith's Consumer Products seven inch Lawaya saltwater coated fillet knife. You don't wanna cook it because redfish is a very tough fish to fillet. Reason being is because of these like armor scales that they have. I'll flick off a couple of these scales here just to show you if I can. I mean, there's a look at that scale right there. It's insane. And I am assuming the reason that they have these huge scales is because of the fact that they're, you know, they're, they feed on crustaceans on the bottom. So their bodies are rubbing up against stuff the whole time while they're down there. So they need the protection. But let's go ahead and start this. Like I said, you don't want to cook it. You want to have a very sharp knife. I'm just going to get rid of a couple of them here so I can make an initial cut. One of the toughest fish to fillet. You see that? So I just cleared some of those scales so I can make that cut go up towards the head so I can get as much meat as possible. And then of course, finish that cut down. All right, now we're just gonna follow that backbone down. And like I said, sharp knife is the key to success here. And I like to just go through the tail and get that out of the way. And then I'm just gonna take my time get every ounce of meat possible off of this fish because we don't get treated with redfish too often. And use, I'm using the flex in this knife too so I can get in there. I like a flexible knife. And also having your, ice, also having your fish properly iced down, he's gonna be much easier to fillet. And then up here, pin bones you wanna break with your knife. And then I really like to keep those rib cage bones intact. I know a lot of people like to cut through them, but it really just messes up your knife and makes it dull faster. All right, and then back down. Like so. Oh, look at that meat. Beautiful. And I also just wanted to mention to you guys too as well about my fish hook and anchor bracelets that I sell. I'm wearing them on my wrist right now, but I make all different sizes. I even have like metallic colored uh, uh, paracord bracelets. I have glow in the dark ones, uh, anchors, fish hook bracelets. I even sell shark pendants that I'm wearing on my neck right now. I make those. So I have an assortment of stuff that you guys can check out if you want to support me and the channel and get your own lucky fishing hook bracelet. But there we go. That side is totally off that fish. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous filet. We're honestly not gonna do anything else to it. We're gonna leave it on the half shell and we're gonna cook them like this. The uh, armor plating on the back here on the skin is gonna act like our plate or our tin foil when we cook them on the grill. So I'm excited. We're gonna finish up the other half and then I'm gonna show you one more trick on this redfish that we're gonna actually say, we're gonna use more of the meat on this guy. For all of you guys that like target, you get to target redfish on a yearly basis or you live around redfish, you're gonna be proud of me. I am cutting out the throat of the redfish, which is gonna be like a beautiful little redfish nugget. Oh yeah, that's gonna get laid on the grill. Cut it right here. And then we got our own little redfish nugget. Now I'm done, I'll we'll see you in the house with Cooking with Puddin'. What's up guys, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Puddin'. I got my lovely assistant here. Let's get to work, because I'm literally starving. <laughs> my fish, my cooking. <laughs> right, here we go. We got the beautiful fish right here, and yes. Darcy got a little bit of recipe. First, I'm gonna score the fish. Yes, I forgot to mention too, I just pulled the pin bones out, I just cut them out and left the skin intact. So we're scoring it so it cooks evenly. We're gonna score the thicker portions. Right. No big deal. I'll do it both ways, almost mm -hmm. like a hatch. There we go. All right, so we got some herbs. What kind of herbs are these, Dar Sizzle? So we got a mixture of stuff going on. I can't really see the purple. 
But there we go. So we got like a half bunch of parsley there. Of course, just the leaves, stems removed. We got a little bit of oregano. I, I just decided we to got throw some that in there. I just kind of make, make it my own thing tonight. And then garlic cloves, of course, and then fresh picked basil from the backyard. I'm All right, here we go. A bunch of herbs. Can't hear you. Wait, no, you want to add, you want to add oil. I thought we would do this first. No, 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 no. You gotta, you're going to slowly add oil to it. Okay? All right, a little oil. Well, we want to measure. Okay, we're not going to know how much oil we're using. I want to use, use a cup, but we'll see. We can wing it. This is cooking with pudding. A little more? Oil. A little more oil. Yeah. I don't like a cup of oil in there. I, mean, I, I don't really know how much to do in We also got this fancy new table. Yes, Brian's so excited to use it today. You have no idea. As soon as we got it, he set it up. Make it official. Yeah, All it's right. gonna be reserves. All right, add more oil. All right, now you can see it's very liquidy. All right, now I'm gonna spread it right on here. Oh, it's green. It's gonna be tasty. Yeah. Get in those scored holes too. Yeah, yeah. Stay in there. Oh, look at that guy. That's nice. Yummy. You did a great job. <laughs> Brian always says I control everything. It's totally not true. She does not. And next, a little garlic salt. Forgot to throw. Next, we've already minced some garlic, and so we're gonna put these pieces right yes. on there. We are, we love garlic. Like, I'm ins obs insanely obsessed with garlic, and Brian has now become like me and my I've family like and my sisters. No, but you always are like, you guys use way so much garlic, but now he loves it too. Garlic head. Uh, next, we do some lemons. All right, gonna spread those out. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Let's get on the barbecue. Let's do it. All right, time for the grill. I got it pre-lit. Now I will like to report, since this is the last video, Traeger has not sent me a grill. So I don't know what's up with that. But someone's got to call them, because this is starting to be a problem. Do your neighbors have trashy dogs that bark all the time too? All right, we've got to be about 15 minutes. We'll check it. Feels done. It's done. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes or so, and I think it's done. You can, one way to test it is just like meat, you can, you can stick a fork in it, and if you're not feeling any flesh, then it's probably done. Plus, it's kind of thin, so we're going to take it right off. Look at that. Ooh. The way that skin is, it really didn't stick at all. Nice. All right, so let's dive in. Yeah, you put the whole entire size of lay on my plate. It's high level. <laughs> Super high level. <laughs> I'm just diving in, I'm not waiting for you. Man, this looks so amazing. Really good. I also wanted to mention real quick that these knives, a few of you are mentioning in the comments, if those are real stag knives, then the handles are real stag and they're from consumer products at the same flay knives. Smith, Smith makes, those pro makes the kitchenware as well and they have a whole block set like this. So that's in the Amazon store as well. It's delicious. Amazing. Delicious redfish. And you get a little bit of like garlic in there. You use more garlic. <laughs> <laughs> you can also squeeze those little lemons a little more in here if you want. All right, so that was a great job. Darcy caught the mullet on the net, and then we put dead mullet on the hook, on the circle hook, with some yeah. floral leader, like 30 or 40 pounds. Threw it up there by the by the power plant, right in the fish angler app. Mm -hmm. Cooked it up on the half shell. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. Really doesn't get any better than this. Living our dreams. Totally wish I could share with you guys. This is just out of this world amazing. <laughs> Can't wait to get back up there though because I need to get my redfish now. Now yeah. it's a competition. Seriously. So thank you guys for watching this video. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. We appreciate you all. We love you all. Keep on watching. Comment down below if you enjoyed the video and until our next adventure. Follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers.